Well, this is a new little thing I'm going I'm gonna do that is called Best Movies Ever and going by specific years, starting with the 80s, or specifically obviously 1980 to start with. And just let's make this very quick. Uh, obviously, this was a big year for movies, or a very good one at best. Um, we had Raging Bull, um, The Elephant Man, and uh, The Shining. So this is a hard year to pick, but one that specifically stuck out to me was Star Wars 2, also known as 5, The Empire Strikes Back. recognized and rightfully so was one of the greatest sequels of all time up there with the godfather part 2 uh terminator 2 and even the dark knight are very recognizable sequels and this one definitely takes place up there on the mantle and very justifiably and this movie is so fantastic um it's it's the the first one was obviously directed by george Cl george Cl jesus christ george lucas um then the next two were, uh, each had different directors. Uh, this one directed by, I think, Irvin Kirschner. Is that how you pronounce it? Kirschner? Kirschner? Um, besides this from being a sequel, it stands alone as a freaking amazing movie. Um, the fact that it wasn't even nominated for Best Picture, I think, in, uh, 1981 is ridiculous. Um, it, you know, it's the very etchings of the career of the uprising of Harrison Ford being the great adventurer. Mark Hamill does a great job in here. And it really is one of those classic movies, one of the classic scenes, the most classic lines of all time, with obviously one of those classic villains. Everything you think about this movie, you think of the word classic, because everybody knows the story of Star Wars. And this is Luke, I am your father, you know. It, it seriously, it, it is in its own movie, it's in its own realm, I mean, so this is some great futuristic battle scenes, and it really is, this is, that, that is sci-fi at its best, and really, I, the one word that would describe this movie is classic, um, the dialogue for a movie of this stature wasn't heard of at the time, you know, it, the effects, obviously, even watching them now, I don't feel outdated, because this story and the rest of the entire character is just, it consume you so well that you don't really care about, you know, outdate, outdated effects, even though they still look pretty cool. I mean, uh, watching that would be the equivalent of watching Avatar to us, which, I mean, it's a mind-blowing experience. And this movie, I mean, it seriously tells everything that an action movie today finds very hard to do, where we find all this random crap with no substance to it. This movie has very much substance to it, and just jam-packed full of good story elements and good movie elements in general, and not only combined with that, but fantastic action sequences that are to this day heart pounding. I mean, me for the 80s, um, the, I mean, obviously I wasn't alive then, but, um, the, for the 80s, these were the movies. Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and Raiders of the Lost Ark that got me into film, because I just loved them so much, and not that they're even childish, because, I mean, everybody who thinks this movie labels as a geek movie, everybody's seen it, everybody loves it. I mean, it is a classic, and a fantastic film at that. I mean, really, these movies are, they will never be forgotten. I really, I, I don't, I can't really find anybody who doesn't like Star Wars. I mean, the, these these are the movies that I think that gets a lot of people interested in film, especially as a younger child. And I'm, I mean, I I'd so much rather have um a, you know a younger generation watch this than watching Transformers or something like this because this actually offers you know the sci-fi feel, true sci-fi, um and it's it's so fantastic. I mean, it really it is a enduring saga that were unfortunately kind of dulled down by the lackluster prequel series. Even though I did very much enjoy Revenge of the Sith, the other two were meh and did not feel like they measured up in the at all the same league as the first two, which are mind-blowing movies and mind-blowing sci-fi action movies. Pointless to give this movie rating, because obviously it's 10 out of 10. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. Sorry this video is so short, they will be longer in the future. Tell me in the comment box below how you liked my review and how you like this new idea, because I want to be doing it next week. I'll probably be doing Raiders of the Lost Ark, because that's 1981. Could do some other ones, might do another 1981, because it's a good year. And please subscribe, yeah!